Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are going to be attacking Arabia soon for one of the de jure holdings that that uh, they have of ours. Um, this betrothal is a regular betrothal. I mean, I'd like to get this land, but there's no way we get it with controlled realm inheritance. Our daughter is already married. She does not have any children yet. Oh, but she's pregnant. Okay. I'll accept it. Okay. About a month until we can declare this war on Arabia. We are moving our retinues in, and they're still a ways away. So we may actually want to... potentially delay this war a little bit. Although that would buy time for our forces here. I think we could, can go ahead and declare this. So we're going to declare it on this guy. This is going to be a holy war for Ultra Jordan. Nearby Sunni rulers might ask to join him in defense of the faith. That's fine. So we'll accept that. And we're going to send our retinues. To take out this army. It's almost all light cavalry. Our pikemen are going to do really well against them. Next, we will raise our personal levies, and we are going to send those up over here. And then we'll see if we need to raise realm levies or not. If we need to, we will. I kind of doubt it. And this isn't going to do any favors for our threat. Ah, the Muhalabid just joined in, and there's actually a Muhalabid holding here. Interesting. Okay. A son was born to our daughter, which is perfect. So we now have an heir for her. That'll work just fine. And we should absolutely crush this with our pikemen. Granted, they do have a bonus, but... This is not going well for us. Why are we losing this? I have no idea why we lost that. That struck me as bizarre. He's just light cavalry. We have a ton of pikemen. Hmm. Regardless, we're just going to go siege over there. Okay. He's got some forces over here. Let's go ahead and raise up our vassal, vassal levies. We're going to send these vassal levies over here to deal with this. We're going to send these vassal levies up over here to help attack. And these vassal levies, they're all going to come over and reinforce over here. Okay. We should get out of this war pretty quickly. In theory. It'll take us some time to get there, of course. But once we do, we should have no real problem with this. But that's part of the problem. We had no leaders in our retinue. Awkward. Not all of our commanders assigned, but I guess they all were leading our levies instead of our retinues. Okay, you want to marry the heir to the kingdom of Epirus to our daughter, and I will accept that. We don't have any chance of getting that territory, but that's fine. Yeah, vassal levies raised too long. We're going to take that malice. And we're going to go ahead and start sieging down this territory. We will be able to assault this. And so we shall. 
Fantastic. We cannot assault this one without the reinforcements, so we'll bring those in. Okay, this is grouping up reasonably well. We can't assault over there, though. Grandiose new library? Minus 50% national tax modifier for five years. That's a lot. We'll do it. <laughs> this is super risky. This is super duper risky. Okay, we'll finish this assault. There we go. And now we'll push up over here. We do have these troops grouping up. Can we assault this? No, we cannot. At least not without reinforcements. That'll have to be fine. We should be able to assault this next holding here, though. And in fact, this is held by us, so that's fine. So we will just have to try this battle again with our reinforcements. Okay. So we can't assault that. We'll just have to siege that down. That'll be fine. Reinforcements are in. And we're going to try this battle once more. Maybe we just got bad rolls. I didn't put leaders in. I am a moron. <laughs> I'm a total moron. Okay. We're going to retreat as soon as we can. And we're going to need to deal with this little force. That will not be a problem. Yeah, the issue here is that we just don't have leaders. Okay. And we're going to put in the Duke of Auvergne. He's terrible and Jima in the center. Okay, and then we're just going to hold here for now. Reinforce a little bit while they're sieging. Actually, they're not even sieging. Okay, we're going to go ahead and march over here with our main force. These guys are sieging over here, and they have succeeded. are trying to kill our daughter. How rude. Okay, we're not going to attack again over there just yet. Can we assault this? Actually, we can. Fantastic. Because we need to get out of this war relatively quickly. We're now at 50% war score, and we'll head to Al Karak. We can't quite assault that. We're at 56% war score. This army over here is basically fully reinforced. Oh, he's surrendering? He is surrendering. I accept. Okay, we'll put down our personal levies and our realm levies. Perfect. There's instantly dangerous factions, but, oh, that's because of Domain Too Big. We're at 22 out of 8, so we need to do something about this. We will create a new vassal for each of these. That'll help dramatically. Okay, that puts us at 13 out of 8. There's still this one, actually. There we go. Now, we need to pass out these. So we will give those to holy men. And we will give you the county of Karak. Excellent. We will give you the county of 
Monreal. Mon Monreal, maybe? I'm not sure. We will give you the county of Negev. There you go. We're over our vassal limit, but that's fine. We will give you the last remaining county, which is Madaba. Excellent. So we are no longer over our domain limit. We are over our vassal limit, but there's no punishment for that unless we die, which is fine. That did bring us up to 100% threat. So we're definitely going to have to chill. <laughs> Literally everyone is going to join against us. And we do need to, at some point... usurp this duchy title so this is de jure the emirate here we will usurp that now this de jure belongs to this guy so we will grant him the duchy of ultra jordan there we go and that de jure belongs to this guy so we will transfer him in here perfect Problem solved. Next. I want to check on this. The status of this. So, let's see if we can usurp this as well. This de jure belongs to the Tripoli Emirate. And we will usurp that. Bam. And that de jure belongs to this guy. Grant landed title. Duchy of Fezzan. Perfect. Okay, so there's that cleaned up. Now we do have an independence faction, and this is being led by the Duke of Bourbon. The King of Houseland and Jerusalem is in it. We should probably fire this guy and put in the King of Jerusalem. He's even slightly better at the job, so that'll be fine. King of Jerusalem can go there. We should probably... Who else is a loyalist? Our patriarch. We should probably replace... Well, let's check to see here. What other powerful vassals do we have that need to be on the council? None. Okay, that'll be good for now. With Jerusalem not in that faction, we're not going to have an issue with it. Excellent. King of Austrasia wants to marry this random courtier go for it now do we want to break this betrothal i feel like we do her heir would be the regent of toledo right now i don't know it's gonna be weird Maybe we'll keep it and just see what happens. It'll probably be awkward. We can actually increase our retinue size. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to grab... I think... Oh, we can't afford it. <laughs> Fair enough. We are currently only making two gold per month because we have our taxes reduced. And we are also paying 62 per month to reinforce our retinues. Okay. There we go. Slightly creepy, but we'll see what ends up happening with the politics of the situation. Ooh, we could go for Construction 5, and we will definitely do that, and Noble Customs as well. Yeah, that's very nice. Okay. This appears to be going relatively well. Of course, we're not making very much money. I think I'm actually going to reduce our retinue reinforcement to reinforce at half speed. Just so that we're actually making some money. That would be nice. Oh, Houseland is trying again on Songhai. 
I think that's going to continue to go poorly for you, Houseland. Um, well, actually, that might not. Molly is again trying to... Wait. That is weird. So Molly is trying to make her a tributary state and fighting against her. Fighting against her. But Molly is also defending her against Songhai. I mean, I get it, right? I would do the same thing if the option was presented. So that makes sense. I think the Queen of Canaan is the one to put on the council there. How old is the current King of Egypt? Nine? Okay, so we've got some time. And we are able to build this separated ward. But that is very expensive. Oh, we've got a headache. Wonderful. A headache points to cancer, huh? Lay down and rest for the afternoon to relieve the headache. I mean, that's actually a good idea. What is happening here? Yemeni claim on Perbura again. I'll allow it this time. Yemen can consolidate this so that maybe they can push their own borders. That might work. I might be okay with this. Jerusalem, how strong are you now? 15k? Yeah, this is... This is starting to get to some reasonable points as far as our vassal strength. So I'm okay with this. Excellent. We can now afford to... Oh, we do have cancer. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, my life... How, how good are you? 15? My life is in your hands. Okay. Tamar's assistant assured him you were asleep. However, Tamar's potion had failed to fully take effect. Even though you could neither speak nor move, you are still aware of everything they did to you. You tried to scream and thrash, but you were a prisoner in your own body. The procedure seemed to last forever. So we're cured, but we're a lunatic. Okay. <laughs> well, that'll be fine. I'm sure it won't be a problem. I'm sure that this will not develop into anything remotely problematic in the future. Oh, our wife is having issues. She has camp fever. Well, we'll need a court physician. And apparently our court physician treated us and then immediately died. There. Okay. Hmm. Uh, we've already got a court physician. We do not need you. I do, however, want to get a shock retinue. And can we get a cavalry retinue? Ooh, not quite, but we could get a second shock retinue. And I'm gonna do that. Gotta get that sweet, sweet heavy infantry. Excellent. Our threat is at 96.6%. 460 months to decay to zero. <laughs> oh boy. Oh hey, oh that's just a revoke board. Never mind. Duke of Nobatia. Okay. Our wife died of camp fever, so I guess that whole that whole exercise was for moot was was completely moot. For moot? Hmm. Lithuanian Heir to the Duchy of Gajam and Duchess of Simeon? I mean... 
How old is she? She's 12. We're not going to inherit anything. I think we just marry someone for stats. We could use more stewardship. Yeah, she'll do. There we go. We've already got our heir and our backup, so it's not going to be a thing that we're going to inherit anything. I'd like it if Egypt would start pushing against the Byzantines. They're dealing with a revolt right now, though. Okay. Fair enough. Well, we'll just start moving over here. How's Hauselin's war going this time? Oh. So the Shia are declaring on us again. That's fine. We'll deal with that in a moment. Hauseland is actually winning their war. For now. So we'll move our retinues over here. And we are currently making 40 per month. We'll go up to maximum reinforcement speed. We'll raise our personal levies. And our personal levies will also group up over here. I mean, the thing is, how powerful are the Shia? Why would you declare this? You have 9,000 troops to your name. Okay, whatever. Do we go aggressive here? Maybe we do. We group up in Tays. Oh, excellent. There's our bloodline. Tech spread rate, build time, research cultural tech is more effective. Nice. We are now the philosopher. Okay, they uh, caught our chancellor a little bit in Constantinople, but I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. So I think if we just divide into two forces and go each direction, we can go aggressive without risking anything. So I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Like, we've got our troops over here. The only danger is that they land on Socotra. Okay. So we will go ahead and split there. Fantastic. And we will send one force around this direction. Uh, huh. Why did you not go through here? I mean, there's some supply limit issues. But we expect this. And then you can come over here and just stay defensive, honestly. That'll be fine. Okay. Like, it's just this guy. This is fine. So we'll just defend this and shouldn't have any issues, really. It'll take some time for our troops to get up there, of course. And we're going to take some attrition. But that is expected. Okay, this guy joined. That's fine. And yeah, we're taking losses here, but I fully expect this. Okay, a few more Shia are joining now. And actually, if we're going to defend, we should defend here. Okay, now we're a drunkard. <laughs> a drunkard philosopher. I love it. Okay. Here's a force. So we can just come in behind this force, cut off any more reinforcements, and allow them 
to come attack. Like, this is fine. Yeah, this is completely fine. However, it is pretty much time to put a cut in here. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to defend Yemen. Although, I'm going to let this battle play out because we are definitely going to win this. Oh, we'll struggle in the future to overcome those events. Or, we can personally duel this guy. He has a personal combat skill of 36. Ours is 17. We don't belong there. You're no longer leading armies. Oh, the Sunni are jihadding for Yemen as well now. Well, that changes the landscape. For sure. Okay. Well, I do need to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to defend against multiple jihads for Yemen. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.